Welcome everyone. We're going to do a little fun painting today. Probably never heard of this one, but it's called a sponge painting. Something a little bit different. I saw something similar to it that would be fun for the channel. And probably be a fairly quick one. So let's start out today. We're going to be doing this in acrylic. It's an 11 by 14 canvas. And what I did was, you can see the silhouette here of a man and a woman standing here. You can find one anywhere on the internet that's free. Uh, royalty free and just print it out as a 3 by 5 picture and then you can just take some cover paper put it on your canvas and just trace it out and then paint around it in black and then paint the silhouette itself in white very carefully and then you may need a couple of coats of this black gesso on first which is the Bob Ross gesso and make sure you have no little white spots showing through so after it dries the first time you'll see some more white spots and just fill them in as you go. So the colors we're going to be using Ivory Black, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Lazarin Crimson, Phthalo Blue, Cadmium Red, a Pink, Violet, and got quite a few piles of white here so I can do it fairly quickly. This is done in acrylic so you got to make sure you keep your paint wet with your little sprayer once in a while. Right there, little mister. And I also used some retarder. And I just put a drop on each color and mix it up really well. And then just kind of pull it out a little bit. So the first color we're going to do is some brown. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of burnt umber. I'm going to pull it aside. Not a lot. I want to make some tree trunks. So I'll put a little bit of white in it. Just lighten it up a little bit. And we'll make some tree trunks out of that. Maybe a little bit darker than that, maybe. Yeah, I might even put a little bit of this burnt sienna in it, too. Give a little bit more of a brownish color. Want it to be nice and brown. Okay. Now, I'm, up, I'm, I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to put two trees in. I use a little knife here to mix with. And I'm going to start off with, I'll just use a flat brush. About a oh, half inch flat. Load it up pretty good with paint. And then we'll, we'll decide where we want the trees. So we want to have the trees about equal distance from each person. So we'll just put one here. And we'll just try to find about the right distance over here. And we'll pull it down. So we're going to make them kind of wide. So we'll widen them up a little bit. They don't need to be perfect, perfectly straight. Trees aren't perfectly straight anyway. You may want them to come down with a little bit of a roots off them or whatever. Same thing over here. We don't want them to look identical. We want them to look a little bit different. So I'll make them look different. And this has got a little bit longer root here. Longer one over here maybe. Like so. Maybe even a little bit fatter. Why not? A little bit fatter tree. Okay, and we'll come up here with this. And we'll go ahead and we can go ahead and put a couple small branches in here. Wherever. No, just like so. We'll be covering up a lot of them branches anyway, so that won't really matter. And we'll put a branch coming from right there. Maybe we'll have one coming over here. They almost look like they're the same, almost. And I'm telling you not to make them the same, and I am. Okay. Maybe we'll have a branch come off this one. One here. Like so. Maybe another one right here. Same with this one here. We'll have one come out a little bit here. One maybe here. 
Yeah, let's come up a little bit more here. Some small ones here and there. Wherever. Just like so. And that would be probably about enough to get going with. Maybe I'll come up a little bit higher. We can add some more branches later, no problem. Then we'll take a little bit more of the sienna, we'll bring it into the same mix, make it a little bit darker. What I want to do is just take very gently and just in a couple of different spots, put some of that darker color here and there, wherever. Maybe even darker. Then maybe get a little bit of black to put in there, a little bit darker. A little darker there, maybe. Just want to give it the idea. We may just let that dry some and come back and do some more. Probably that might be the best thing to do. But I want to get a little bit more of the darker up in here because we'll be putting some leaves over here and we want it to look somewhere close to what we want. And the darker parts where the under parts of the tree are. maybe here. And we'll put some more lighter colors in there probably too. I'm going to make this one just a little bit wider here. Not like so. Wash the brush off. And I want to highlight it with some a little bit of a different color, some white. A little bit lighter the burnt sienna with some lighter colors in it. But I think we're going to use a smaller brush to do that. And we'll just take a small liner brush. I believe this one is a number two. Wet it a little bit. And then we'll get some of this lighter color. And then we can just kind of very gently in different areas just put a little bit of different color in there very gently. Almost like using a knife. You just want to put some different colors in. Just kind of wiggle it in. Give it some more character. So, just here and there. Over here, do the same thing. The tip. You can make some of it a little bit lighter if you want to, or darker, however you want to do it. Just whatever you think is the color that you need. I got a little bit lighter here. I might just use a little bit more over here. Some of these little lighter colors. Barely grazing it. If I don't like it, I can always go over it again if I need to. Acrylics that way, it's pretty easy to work with. We'll see what that does. And if we don't like it, we'll just change it. simple. And 
nothing you can do that helps is wash your brush off. And if you see it's a little bit rough, you can actually just go over again with the white or with the wet, wet brush and kind of blend it in like so. And it's already still wet. Just kind of blend it in. It'll fill up the little cracks here and there and whatever. You may have to push a little bit on it, give it a little bit of firm push, help blend it in more. You can use a flat brush, probably even better, using a flat brush with it might be even better. The idea is to make the tree look as real as possible, get a little bit wetter here. You can wet it, let it sit for a minute, if it's been too long. <coughs> Like so. Blend it right into that tree trunk. Like so. Okay. Now, that's looking more like a tree. Now we've washed that brush off. Now comes the fun part. We're going to use a sponge. Believe it or not. And that's how we're going to do these trees. And we've got a nice rough looking sponge. The rougher the better. I think what we're going to try here is something a little bit darker for us. So we're going to take some of this red and some of this pink. Put it together. We need a bunch of it probably. A little bit darker. Maybe a little bit of this burnt sienna and just to darken it up just a little bit. Mix it up really, really good. You need quite a bit, so you gotta make quite a pretty good amount of it. Get a little bit more red here. I think I might even take a little bit of the phthalo blue and put in there, just to darken it, just a tiny little bit. I usually use too much, and that's probably what I did was too much, but we'll fix it by adding some more red to it. Maybe some more pink, some white. Got a little bit darker than I really wanted, but I'm experimenting with the colors. I think it'll look good no matter what we do with it. So we we'll wipe our knife off, and we'll take the sponge and we'll just tap it in very gently into all that paint. And we're gonna just take and we're gonna tap it in just very gently. Just gonna tap it on there. Just like so. Tap it on. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Make them nice tree leaves. Just like that. I want them to kind of meet together a little bit right there. That's fine. And then I'm going to take and tap some more very carefully along the bottom here. About where they're standing. Watch for their toes. All around it. All along the bottom. We got leaves all along the ground here. Just like so. If it starts smudging, that means you got to get some more paint. Not like so. And then you can just wipe that off on a napkin. We're still going to use it again. That same color won't matter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some pink. A bunch of pink. Take a little bit of that same color and mix it in with it. Just a little bit. We just want to come up a shade. We'll add some white into it. A bunch of white. Maybe just get a little bit more of it than that. I'm going to make a little pinkish color here, but a lighter shade. We want it to look lighter so you can see the difference in how light it is. That's exactly what you want. Then we're going to take the same sponge 
and we're just going to tap it in. Just like that. Tap them colors right on the top, very sparingly, here and there, here and there. Just here and there, everywhere. A little more paint. Just like so. Now we'll do the same over here. Don't stay in one spot. Tap it one spot only and keep going. You don't want to get too much. Just like that. And we'll do the same on the bottom. Right up around the tree, up into the bottom of the trunk. It don't matter. We have a little pile of leaves right there. It don't matter. You can always go back over that black if you don't like it. A little bit more here. Okay. Now all we need to do is wipe this off again. Might want to do it on a clean napkin this time. And we're going to take, and we didn't even use a lot of these colors, but we're going to spread out the white. It's white color. What we want to do is take a little bit of the white, tap it into the white very carefully. Very carefully. I'm going to tap in a little bit of the white. Probably a little bit less white than the other colors. Just like so. Randomly. You want it to be random. Like so. Just like that. Yeah. Now you put a little bit of this white down at the bottom. Here and there. Okay. Just like that. Then you can wipe that off. And then all you gotta do is just wash that sponge out when you're done. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a good old Q tip. And we're gonna get it in. We're gonna do is we're going to just dab some little circles on here and there. Like so. You may need to wipe this off as you go. Just push it in. Kind of makes it look like you got some blooms in there. Push it fairly firmly. When you run out of paint, just get you some more. Don't get too much paint. You gotta be <coughs> a little bit careful about how much paint you get. And I'm just kind of randomly putting them in wherever I think they need to be. More paint. Isn't that neat? There we go. Some more here. I'm going to put some down here on the bottom. Go to the other tree and do the same thing. Now as you're picking up some of that little bit of a pink into the blossoms, and that's the whole idea. Like so.
I look for a little bit of a balance and we can do the same thing right down in here right down on the ground put some right down here You don't need to have a one everywhere I put one. You can put them wherever you want to put them. It doesn't matter. There's no real right way or wrong way. Just put them in there randomly. Just like so. You don't want to see any like patterns or lines or whatever, so make sure they're nice and random. And it doesn't hurt for you to even put a few in wherever you want. Just like so. And I think we'll call that a finished painting. See how easy that was? You all have fun with it. Experiment with it. Try to do different little things with it. It's a great little way to learn and use your brushes and mix colors a little bit and things. And very simple thing to do. Well, you all have a nice day and we'll see you the next time. Enjoy the painting. Please leave comments and share and subscribe and like and hit the bell and all that good stuff. We certainly would appreciate it. And remember, we are on Patreon now. Look down in the description and you'll find the link to Patreon. And you'll also find some links to uh, the paint that we use, the brushes and all that stuff for Bob Ross and everything. We have them down in the links that go to Amazon and it will help you and help me too. All right, have a good day. Thank you now.